listening to Dunn Girls Podcast, and it was Justin. So today we're doing our first episode on our retro anime reaction videos, where we're going to do reactions to, reaction commentary to my some of my favorite retro anime OVAs, and some, some ones that I've never seen before. And we're starting off with a horror anime OVA from 1987. The Laughing Target, which is a horror uh, OVA by the face off a uh, Mimiko Takahashi uh, short story, which is the mangaka of Inuyasha. Which, when I was a kid, Inuyasha was like the most talked about anime uh, for a little bit, and t- until like I would say until Naruto got there. Which I was, I, I, I don't want to give, uh, you know, too much info on how old I am, but like, yeah. Uh, yeah, so like, yeah, we're gonna p- press start in 1, 2, 3, go. It's like a 51 minutes OVA, it's on YouTube. I can, oh, Studio Pero made this? Okay. The Shokugan production. So I think this is sub. Apparently this version was ripped off a laser kit. Uh, it's, suppo- it's supposed to be like HD. I I doubt laser discs. Laser discs for HD. Then what? Then again, what do I know? I, I watched some movie where they're like, I watched some 80s movie where like, um, like this. It was, I forget, I forget the name, I think it was called Spellcaster, where it's about like, you know, this MTV ripoff show was having like these uh, teenagers, teen, not teenagers, young people hang out at this like Italian castle, and like, you know, they didn't bring enough cameras, so she, the, the program runner or whoever, director, sends like two, two cameramen to go to like Rome to buy HD cameras, and I'm like, Holy fuck, they had HD cameras in like the 80s. Oh my god. <laughs> Which I didn't review. I I, I was going to review that movie until I got bored. <laughs> it's the thing where like the movie. The movie spoils the fact that it. That it's like magic that's killing people. Because if you didn't know it was magic killing people, it. 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 it, it, it could, they, they could have passed it off as, like, you know, tra- weird traps and shit. Because the first kill in the movie looks like a car... Is like a car... Like, it looks like a car bomb. Right? It doesn't look like magic at all. So, this takes place in feudal Japan? Or is this just a traditional household? I'm not sure. So you can kind of see the... Oh, there's fireworks going on in the background. I don't know if you can hear them. What sucks is that we're... Like... From my house, you can't see the fireworks, but you can fucking hear them. <laughs> it's like kind of annoying. Cause like they kept the, they kept the they kept me me and like the fellow people I live with up last night, which sucked because I had like work in the morning, which is, which was like it was only like you know. It was only like five hours, so it's like, eh, uh, nobody would have, well, nobody would have cared if that, you know, I was like a little slow. Or groggy for the now. But whatever. I- I'm guessing this is modern day. So, not, never... Never watch the final act of Inuyasha where they, they, uh, cause like the original Inuyasha anime series, uh, ended on a, like, uh, cliffhanger or some shit. 
and they finished it off later. I don't know if it was the thing where, like, Rimuko never finished the manga series, or, like, the anime just ran its course, but yeah. I was gonna rewatch the entire anime again, and then get to the final act, but I, I got, you know, I got to, like, season two, and then quit. <laughs> Even though I bought, like, the first three seasons. <laughs> I don't know, man. Whatever. So there, you got a dude doing archery. Which, uh, I was in, uh, the archery club at my high school. Though it's kind of sucked, because I had a part-time job at the time. It was always on, like, it was, like, on Wednesdays. It was on either Wednesdays or Thursdays, and a lot of time I would have to... Half the time, I, would, I couldn't go to our tree club because I had to work that day. But I eventually just quit my part-time job, so I could... After, like, two years or whatever, I quit, so I could just do the... Our tree club, you know. That wasn't the reason why, though, but, like, I, I, I hated that part-time job. So, yeah. So uh, of course this this anime being written by a woman it, it has to be there has to be romance and shit. Oh, he has a fiance. Oh, he's going to marry his cousin. <laughs> uh, apparently it was. Apparently in the 80s, you still had that going on where like people marry, marry their cousins. That's, yeah. Okay, so they're part of some clan. Okay. Are they part of like a ninja clan or it's just like old nobility? Who knows? It's the thing where like, you know, if you have, if you look into Japanese history, the the nobil like, you know, the, the like Japan's like you know, uh culture, like, you know feud, like feudal Japan and shit was very was very similar to how it was in like you know like Europe with their like you know uh, no, how their nobility worked where basically the nobility was basically the the warriors slash you know rulers and it's pretty much it was pretty much you know the same for the Japan with the samurai But it's not the same where, like, you know, uh, how the knighthoods work isn't the same in Japan. So it it kind of, it kind of, well, if you, it was a thing where, like, in some periods, if you became, like, a renowned swordsman and you worked for, like, a samurai lord, like, you could, like, you know, get, maybe get, like, you know, enough renown where you would get your own land and then you would be considered like a samurai. So it, it, it the cut the, the, the yeah they they are very similar. Yeah. I wonder if if they're gonna be ninjas. That would be cool. Maybe that was some kind of weird genjutsu at the beginning of the fucking movie. That was the weird, like, you know, like, snake demons or whatever with us to... The kid was in the room of... Oh! He has a fate for his cousin. <laughs> oh, I gotta marry my cousin. <laughs> like, at first he's like, oh, I got married my cousin, that sucks. 
Oh wait, she's hot? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, this isn't too bad of a <laughs> rage. <laughs> if it... his hairstyle, if you ignore the fact that short hair is very similar to Neo Ashes. They're supposed to be cousins, but they don't look alike at all. Then again, I don't really look all alike. Except for one cousin. That, like, we- I have, or we could be brothers. Most of my cousins, I, uh, we don't really look alike at all. I have some cousins that fucking look Asian. I don't know what the deal with that is. Which I'm not saying like, oh, like, you know, my uncle or aunt, I mean, my uncle got cut or whatever, but like, you know, it's weird. Maybe there was some Eurasian, you know, stuff, like, you know, going, I don't know, some Asians that might, like, or whatever, and, like, just have to research it. Who knows? Because their parents don't look Asian at all, because, like, you know, their kids kind of look Asian. Not so much anymore, but when they were younger. Like, now, now that the one dude, like, you know, now that he's balding, <laughs> uh, now he's like, oh, I can kind of see the resemblance to your dad. <laughs> uh, which I went to his wedding like two years ago. Yeah, I'm getting to that age where it's like, oh, everybody's getting married with me. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> It is what it is, what can you do? Kind of sucks though, it's like, whenever a wedding comes around, I, it always happens like, oh, I don't have a girlfriend at this time. I'm like, God, oh, fucking damn. <laughs> so. <laughs> So my, my relatives must think I'm like a, I'm still a virgin and shit. <laughs> oh, she's like super shy. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, his... His best, his, you know, childhood best friend that does not like the foul, does not like, uh, all, uh, him getting close to his cousin bride. <laughs> what are, what is this, like, lit class? My cousin bride can't. <laughs> What's that meme? My cousin bride can't be can't be this cute. <laughs> from that what? From that fucking weirdo anime. Can't possibly be this cute. Yeah. I don't really watch a lot of anime like that. One, I'm not a weirdo. Two, when I grew up, anime was like, anime that was aired on TV was like Battle of Shonen, Mecha, and, uh, you know, 
and power like uh, Sailor Moon ripoffs. Huh? He needs to decide, man. Like, hey, dude, are you gonna like hook up? Are you gonna like you know? You gonna be with your hot cousin, or are you gonna like? You, or are you gonna like you know? Break it off to be with uh, your childhood best friend. Right? This is like fucking Robotech all over again. <laughs> Which, like, can we say how fucking retarded it was for, like, Rick to, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna dump <laughs> the ch Chinese waifu for the, for the middle aged woman. Which, I'm not saying, like, you know, what's her name was was so great of a girlfriend, because obviously she was kind of annoying, and very childish, childish. Then again, she was, like, I think she was still teenager. But yeah, like, it's the thing where, like, you know, you should, you should have dumped both of them and just found, found a new chick, but, but fuck it. I mean, I don't know, maybe Lisa Hayes isn't a bad isn't such a bad choice but because of the robotech english stuff it's like she was like voice acted by this by this chick who had like a haggy voice like she sounded like so old and like you watch like you watch like the, the voice actress like interview for that robotech battle cry game and it's like oh holy shit she's still alive <laughs> so she couldn't have been like you know an old lady when she voiced at least a hey, Back in age, she just had a like old lady voice, which sucks. So we're watching uh, high school girl change. That's not fucking creepy at all. Oh, we're getting some some scary shit's going to go down, boys. Uh, my, uh, video finished processing. Man, that fucking autoplay is so annoying. I wish I could... There was a way to turn it off. Oh, she's gonna get murdered by the hot cousin. There's the fireworks again. Leave my cousin... Leave my cousin husbando alone. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb bitch. <laughs> or, or get murdered. <laughs> oh, she's using some kind of jutsu. What's it? Is it genjutsu again, or is it like gonna be actual, like, you know? Oh, shit. She has some pow powerful chakras. <laughs> 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 uh, I think I've heard that voice actress before. I probably have. Uh, it's the thing where I don't really follow Japanese voice actors, voice actresses. I mostly follow like you know, English voice actors. Cause let, let's be real, like if you don't know the language, how are you gonna recognize people's voices and shit? Cause apparently the same fucking guy who voices Dio also voices fucking Deadpool and in that in like Deadpool uh, Japanese games and like fuck in the the Marvel Disc Wars anime. Which got, which got, like, you know, localized. No, I haven't, I haven't seen that. You would think it would make it to stores, but it, it, I've never seen it. Then again, it, sometimes, you know, the anime stuff, you know, if it's, like, if it's anime that was, like, aired on, like, you know, on major TV, sometimes they don't put it in the anime section, they put it with the cartoon. Especially if it's for kids. But, uh, 
Because, yeah, a lot of the old 80s shit is in there. That's technically anime. At the, I think what is it? The two section at my local. The place where I go to buy my anime, anime and shit. Oh, is that Kuwabara? <laughs> oh my god, Kuwabara's in like everything. <laughs> Kind of, the red-headed dude kind of looks like Kubara, but not really. Uh-oh. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a Japanese anime without, uh, a struggle symbol. I'm so pissed off at, like, Zack, or Richard, whatever his fucking name is from. Your boy Zack at Comic Books Matters, where like you, he, like, you know, he, he, he fucking did a video on Kentaro Mira dying, and it's like, I've seen this guy's videos on and off for years. I've heard him mention Berserk on how he doesn't like it because there's too much, you know, rape and shit, and Ultra Violence and Rape, but like, he, he'll have no problem. He'll, he'll bash, he'll bash Berserk, but he has no problem doing a video talking about the fucking, the mangaka passing away, and how it's kind of a good thing he died without finishing the work, because that way, you know, that way it lives forever, right? Tell that to, tell that to the fucking, okay, this is fucking weird. Tell that to the you know, the fans of Ragnarok into the Abyss, right? Nobody talks about that mon manhwa anymore. Like, pe if people talk, do talk about Ragnarok, they talk about the fucking online game. Pe most people who probably play Ragnarok nowadays probably don't even know he was originally a fucking manga. Because the offer, once once he made his money off the, the games and shit, he just never came back to it. The fucking asshole. But yeah, like, for him, for somebody, the audacity of, Z of Richard to be like, or Zach, whatever, to be like, yeah, to like, to like, you know, like, op like, openly, like, we know this guy hates Berserk, to be like, it's a good thing, and the guy never finishes, finishes, like, wow, obviously, you know, there's not some bias there, dude. Like, and the video was monetized as well. It's like, clearly, you're d doing this to make money off, like, you know, a popular topic at the time. Fucking asshole. That and the other comic book, you know, channels, which are, like, they're all, like, com a lot of the Gen Xers and older comic book people are pissed off that, like, you know, manga is more popular with young people than with than like you know comic books that's because japan they're not interesting and in put they don't fucking they're they they hire by merit okay it's not like with the comic book industry where they're ip holders and that they'll, they'll just hire whoever like you know whoever liberals like blog writers that agree with their opinions to write uh, propaganda, because they, they, they don't give a shit, I think Zach, the one thing Zach is right about, with the current comic book industry, is that they don't give a shit about putting out, they're not good at, they don't give a shit about putting, like, good content, they only, they, they make the majority of their money just on, only these IPs, and, like, you know, getting money from the movie studio, so that, so they, they just sit on the IPs and put out garbage, and they don't give a shit, right? And then the same people go off to work for the smaller com smaller uh, comic book publishers and wondering, okay, wh 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 why their shit gets cancelled. It's because, like, dude, like, <laughs> they're not, like, you know, like, they're not gonna, they're not making movies, like, they're not earning a shitload of money off, off, like, movies and shit. That's why we start. Ugh. Sorry I went on that huge rant. Oh, what the fuck? The fucking video. 
Oh, uh, the the screen the screen froze, so I have to like you know. I had I had to rewind a bit. Oh, it could be just okay. It looks like it's the video. It's the video itself. It's not the video player. Okay. Okay. So I, we just miss what? Okay, what's going on there? Told me you love. Oh my god. Oh, she's very clean. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. He's, he's pissing her off. Oh, I guess he doesn't have a thing for his hot cousin. Okay. That's good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's definitely going to kill the, the childhood friend now. Is it? I don't know if she's a, ch a childhood friend. I'm just assuming. Oh, she, her name's Satomi. Okay. Uh-oh. She's, she's giving the old death stare. Oh, and I have another problem with these, like, manga channels that are still posting videos on, like, Berserka. Like, is Berserk going to get continued or not? Retards, whether or not Berserk continues, it's not going to be the same, and it's still good. It's going to it's going to be fan fiction regardless of it regardless of who writes it or not because guess what it's if it's not by Kentaro Mira it's not it's not going to be berserk anymore it's just not and i i hi, i highly doubt like you know whoever i don't even know who published this is Japan sorry berserk in Japan cuz i i i have the volumes like the Dark Horse manga volumes. But like I, I doubt the fucking publishers are gonna, you know, continue Berserk. They're they're just gonna let it off. You're gonna have to wait for an anime and for like, you know, like a successful Berserk anime, which is hard considering what's you know, what's popular nowadays. Which I don't even know what's popular nowadays. Like last time it, I checked it was like, you know, uh Little girl anime, like com comedy animes. They're like, I don't even know what the fuck's popular right now. Probably like, you know, the webtoon shit. But yeah, it's like, you know, who knows. The the most we can hope for is, the, what we'll probably get is, you know, a berserk anime where they they come up with their own ending. Which I, want, I don't have a problem with that, honestly. Cause we're kind of we're with, with anime we're kind of used to filler endings right and there was nothing like with, with the trigon anime nothing wrong with the way that anime ended honestly i i, I actually i still don't know how the fucking tri, trigon man, manga ended, ended honestly because it's the thing where i started reading the trigon manga when i was in like school and i would just read the volumes at the public library and then I was at some point I was like I'm gonna buy all these and I never did. <laughs> uh, that sucks. And it would be like impossible to order this shit now. Not well, it wouldn't be impossible, but it's like the the bookstore where I used to order all my manga volumes, they're 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 gone. They went out of business. Right before COVID hit, they like they just like shut down. Cause like a bigger bookstore opened in town, and they're like, "Yeah, we can't we can't compete with them, even though we make most of our money from like you know book orders." And they they actually they order books in like a lot faster than the chapters does. 
does, so I don't know why they couldn't just, like, you know, just, like, you know, just can just make most of your money off, like, the book orders, but I guess they couldn't. Uh-oh. She's gonna kill her with archers. Okay. That's cool. So what, she has psychic powers? Yeah, uh, I don't recommend this version, by the way. If, if I were you guys, I would pick another uh, video. You know. and this one. This this one. It sometimes is the fucking picture you know, freezes. Pro yeah, it, it prob it's probably a bad rip. Oh, it, it fucking freezes again. Yeah. Oh, my dog's barking. She wants me to go to bed. Normally, I'd go to bed by now, but I can't. Yeah, I want to do this. Which we still have, like, what, another 20 minutes to go? Yeah, I, I got pause. Deal with my dog. As I was putting my dog to bed, I just realized something. Which I'm pressing play now. Ah, oh, this stupid. Fucking thing. Won't play. There we go. I just realized tomorrow's a holiday and I need to go do grocery shopping. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know if the store's gonna be open tomorrow. I mean, grocery stores are probably open. Is it? I don't know if the one that I go to will be. Uh. Oh my god, this fucking video, it keeps fucking freezing every once in a while. What a, like, terrible rip. I should have fucking read the comments before I, I, I watched this, but, uh, before I started the recording. Oh my god, she killed that dog. Which is the she, it looks like a Shibu, you know. Oh, that bitch! She killed the, the, the dog. Oh, she killed the Shibu Inu. That fucking bitch. <laughs> At first, I was kind of on her side because she was the hot one. She was the hotter of the two girls. But now it's like, oh, what a fucking bitch. You just killed the dog. And it's like, it's, it's like, you bitch. The dog was chained up. You could have just walked away, and it wouldn't. It, oh. That fucking bitch. I would I would say the c word, but I'm not sure if that's a hate crime. Or I'm not sure if the c word is considered hate speech, even though the Brits still fucking use it all the time, and they have fucking worse hate speech laws than we do. Or they're, they're, I don't know, they're pretty similar, I don't fucking know. Oh, choke that bitch out! <laughs> tell her how you killed a dog, you, you bitch. <laughs> tell, tell your husband how you killed a dog, for no fucking reason. Oh, here comes the crocodile tears. At least slap the bitch. She she killed a dog. You fucking asshole. She killed a dog. Gonna tell him. 
Why couldn't you just say on the phone that, like, you know, that bitch killed my dog? <laughs> If the name was like June, it's hard to tell if is that a boy or a dog or a girl name. <laughs> uh, I I can't I I don't I'm not hundred percent sure. Oh, th those were ghosts. Oh, she's, she's going to try to kill... Oh, her own mom tried to kill her? That sucks. I will not let you continue the Shinka family fight. She hasn't seen this, this dude since like she was a kid. Why, 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 why is she so like, like you know, enamored with, uh, with our boy, the protector? So she killed like you know her mom. <laughs> Wait, if the if the aunt is dead, why why does he still have to marry her? If the head of the family is dead, like you know, he could just say fuck it now. Because wouldn't his dad now be the new head of the family, or would it go down to the the daughter? That's the thing, because like. That's a, that's a tough one. I, I think, well, I think it would go down to, like, the... Normally, it would go down to the... It would, it would be the next of kin, which would be the, you know, the child of the, the last heir. But, like, you know, depending on, like, how, how they handle male and female heirs, it would go back, it would go back to the... And the brother or whoever. But seeing how the last the, la the last heir was a female, it's probably Jonet uh the daughter. So though. Oh, there's a new Dragon Quest Die anime? That's cool. I mean, the original was pretty cool. I think I would just watch the original. Oh, there's a bat- there's a bat scene. Somebody go tell the fucking weird, like, you know, uh, Reddit that, hey, here's a bat- there's a bat scene in this anime. There's like this weird Reddit or whatever that like catalogs every bath scene in anime. There, there, there was your fan service, boys. It was like all of two seconds, which I have no problem with that. Why even have it in the first place? It don't even be two seconds. That, 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 that those two seconds will still give you a higher rating. Might as well edit, take those two seconds out and be a, like a rated team, like an OVA. Now you're M rated. Now you're M rated because you had you had that you had like pities for two seconds. That's a season done. Uh. 
somebody explain the Back to the Future shit? <laughs> like, it's not like there's time travel in this fucking OVA. So why would, why would she disappear from like, from an old book, like picture? If she's just gonna, if she's gonna get murdered now, it's like that's kind of dumb. Maybe there's an explanation. I don't know. this like OVA. It's not it's not even that good. The fucking um Yunusu like OVA is a lot better than this. Which I forget what that one's called. I mean, this isn't too bad, but it's like... So he's gonna kill... the... He's gonna kill his, uh... cousin with... archery, I guess. Guys, this is what the Tokyo Ghostwire Wire video game is gonna look like. <laughs> uh. I don't know if I'm getting that game, so I wasn't a fan of Evil Wilson 2. Well that that didn't have the same director, but I mean, the RPG elements in that game. I don't know, I just found it like. It's, it's the thing where, like, it didn't feel like a Japanese survival game anymore. Survival horror game anymore. But, but, like. Like, you know, and that's what. It's why. Like, the first one felt like, you know. For all of its faults, at least that was. I felt like, you know, I was playing, like, a Japanese survival horror game. The second one feels too Western. Western, and that's because they had like a Western uh, director. Why the fuck you would do that? And like you know, lose like you know, lose like the fans who love like you know Japanese Red Lord. Shoot her in the arm at point blank. What's the fucking draw strength on a bow that big? Must must be pretty high, right? Maybe not compound like you know strength, but. Maybe. Oh, he he hit her in the heart. heart. How are they gonna explain this to the cops? Oh, I killed my, I killed my unarmed cousin who was gonna kill like you know this girl. Ah, uh, her genjutsu is wearing off. I'm inside it. What's your love touch? <laughs> uh, that's a reference to Broken Pixel, so, uh, which was an awesome 
Let's Play video game show from back in the day with Sean Baby, the boys at G. Uh, what, what was it? Uh, Zip Davis. Does she have green eyes? <laughs> I am looking for an Asian girl with green eyes. <laughs> uh, what was the name of that fucking movie with Kurt Russell? Oh my god, I can't remember. Showdown in like China, Little China. I don't know. It's like a John Carpenter movie. Uh oh. One last attack before she does. I mean, they were kind of screwed anyway, because it's like, how are they going to. How would they explain him killing, like, you know. Oh, she's stabbing her with the arrow. Which, so. Yeah, the. The arrows they would make us, like, use for, like, you know. High school work. They. They were like, you know, they were pretty shitty, not very, not sharp at all, but they could probably still kill people. So I, I, uh, with those, with those shitty, like, arrowheads, I doubt you would be able to, like, you know, puncture, like, a skull, but whatever. Because they were basically the shape of bullets, the... Arrowheads for the arrows we use in school. That's cool. We had to use like shitty 30 pound bows. I bought I bought my own bow so I could practice at home. End up losing like a lot of fucking arrows that would just fucking disappear into the ground. Ah, oh, it's over. Yeah, I don't know. Should I give this a rating? I don't even know, man. What would I rate this? Wasn't good. That's for sh that's for fucking sure. I don't know, like a five out of ten. I don't fucking know. That's the thing. I'm not really that into horror anime. <laughs> uh, cause I mean, the horror anime I'm into, it's like it's it's too actiony, like Berserk and Helsing. I almost said like Terraformers, but that's how, how Terraformers, the fucking early trailers for that fucking anime made it look like the most horrific fucking thing ever. And then you watch it, and it's just oh, it's ba it's basically a fighting shonen with uh, ultra violence, which is cool. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't as scary. But like, holy fuck. Those early trailers, oh my god. It just looked fucking brutal, oh my god. Yeah, so it's over. Yeah, not not a fan of this, not a fan. If, well, if you guys have any suggestions on retro anime you would like us to react to next, let me know in the comments. Alright guys, peace out. At some point, I'm going to do, uh, what was it called? High School Battle Royale? That was a fucking awesome OVA. I love it, but people hate it. Which, if people don't know what, uh, what was it called? Royal, no, I think it was called Royal, Royal, uh, fuck, Battle Royale, no, it was, it was called Battle Royale High School. It, it was, it's basically about, it's the craziest fucking thing. It's basically about, like, you know, three people team up, three random protagonists team up to, to fight, like, alien invaders. One dude is, like, a karate dude with a tiger mask who has, like, a demon inside of him. Another dude is, like, this swordsman with a wooden sword. And the third guy is basically, like, a Power Ranger. So, technically, it, it was, like, 
it, it was mostly inspiration from like the Space Cop Metal Hero shows like Space Cop Gavon Stavon whoever you know Sh- Shavon whatever those, those different like Space Cop uh, Tokusatsu shows were but yeah they, it was fucking awesome which you uh, were probably uh, I would like to review that you know do a reaction to that next all right, guys. Give me, let me know your suggestions in the comments. All right. Guys.